All right, now I'm gonna tell you some more than they want, man. Well, the vision is yet for a point in time, but at the end it shall speak yep. and not lie. Yep. Lord Terry, wait for it. Yeah, because you know what? You people think we just out here for no goddamn reason, man. That's right. Okay? Bro. But the vision is gonna speak, man, all right? Those concent those those concentration camps, man, is around the goddamn corner, man. All right? Race wars is around the corner, all right? Chemical warfare is around the corner, man. Biological. Yeah. Yeah, biological chemical warfare, okay? Greek. Don't it tear away for it because it will surely come and it will not tear it. Yeah, it ain't gonna tear you, man, all right? It's gonna come, man. And it's right around the corner, all, all right? right? Yeah, that is most definitely around the corner. March 13, 2013, man. I hope, I hope you cut your food stamps off today, man. Greek. Proverbs 29 and uh, 17. Cause this nigga's supposed to, uh, you know, see correction. You know? Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest. Yeah, he shall give delight into thy soul. You Where, know what? <laughs> these, I'm just talking about these little fucking niggas, man. All right, you can't take no delight in these little fucking monsters, man. All right, they they wicked as hell, man. They don't want to receive no no fucking correction. That's why they ended um end up in um um. Correctional facilities, man. End up in fucking prison, man. Cause they wicked, man. Read, brother. Verse 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Right, where there is no vision, okay. Where it's not the word of the most high, you ain't hearken to this truth. You're gonna perish, man. Read. Because you never see the vision. Man. The truth. You don't have a vision. But there's no vision. Oh, but the, they go to St. Timothy, though. I, I, I ain't give them, give, give them a vision out this church right here, man. The people perish. The people perish, man. But he that keep up the law. Yeah, oh, you niggas went out and voted. Why, why didn't your president tell you he was going to throw your ass in concentration camps, man? Agreed. But he that keep up the law, yeah. happy is he. Right, he that keep up the law, happy is he, man, okay? Well, because they said you just not saved by the law, but you say by faith too, all right? But faith is keeping the law, man. All right, so happy is he, man. Read. I listen. I got an article, bro. Hold on, hold on. What, what you got, bro? It says. Hold on. You got an article? Yeah. Come on, come around, man. Okay, it says, well, it says, will America receive a microchip implanted in 2013? Pre Obamacare, a major news article broken in LOL, AOL, and Con Contrast, and a mainstream news media outlet. The new this this past new Obama this past week that Obama health care bill will require USA citizens and babies to receive a microchip, a micro or or a medium chip, and by March two, March twenty third, two thousand thirteen. See. I didn't even know the brother had this. I just mentioned it, you know? I didn't know he had that locked and loaded, man, you know? <laughs> ready, <laughs> ready, ready to the go. Fucking, you people are gonna get the chip, man. Chip trying to bring some pill. Trying to leave it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you no integrity having fucking two thirds, man. Three. Whether or not the microchip is required in the bill implant by 2013. Oh, let me say something else. Oh, you know, they also put in the bill, you know, whoever received food stamps and shit, you gotta get the fucking chip, man. Okay? So you nigga with me, it's gonna get, you're gonna be fucking lined up for the chip, man. All right? Chip up. Go ahead, brother. Remains to be seen. Uh, let's get down to the next part of our chapter. Mm -hmm. It says, our newborn children starting to, starting in 2013, going to receive a microchip shortly after birth, then in, <laughs> then in this book, and uh, what's this? Uh, U.S. 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 Healthcare bill, which is elected representative voted for without reading. This is the this is the select title subtitle. Oh, so they said they voted for it without fucking even reading the whole damn thing, man. All right, which is the average American because the average American don't read shit, man. Okay, that's why I say when you people voted, okay. You voted to get the chip, man. To get chipped up by old Nimrod, man. AKA Obama, man. AKA um, Barry. 
<laughs> you know, they can't even lie. That motherfucker, everybody. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, it says, uh, it says, um, subtitle C11, Sep 2521. National, national, med national media device regard which states. And basically, it's just talking about a whole bunch of stuff. What is it doing? Stuff? Yeah, that's yeah, it. Cause you know what, man, you, you keep on uh, uh, doing which it's so simple. Anything you gotta do is Google it, man. If you don't believe us, just fucking Google it. Then look it up. Where, they, hey, where you get this? Where you get this? Tell them, tell them. Sorry, man. Fucking Google it, man. Uh, news, news with views. Dot, news with you dot com. Yep. News with you dot com. Go ahead. Deuteronomy seventeen and fourteen. When thou come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, and shall possess it, thou shalt and, and shall dwell therein, and shall say, I will set a king over me, mm -hmm. like as all the nations that are about me. Thou shalt in, set, slack it, verse 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, mm -hmm. whom the Lord thy God shall choose. One from among thy brethren shall thou set king over thee. All right, so since y'all ain't hearken to this law right here, man, you know, it's consequences behind that shit. Like, you know, getting the chip and ultimately being destroyed, man. Got a heavenly father, man. Greek. Thou made us not set a stranger over thee. Yeah, which is Barack Obama. This guy right here, man. This demonic, foolish motherfucker, man. Go ahead. Thou made us not set a stranger over thee. Him? A Hamite. Which is, which is not thy brother. He's not our brother. He's not his brother. But he shall not multiply horses to himself, nor cause the people to return to Egypt. Right. That's what he did. To the end that he shall multiply horses, for as much as the Lord hath said unto you, ye shall henceforth return no more that way. And neither shall he multiply wise himself, that his heart turn not away, neither shall he greatly multiply himself silver and gold. And there shall be when he sitteth up on the throne of his kingdom, that he shall write him a copy of this law in, this, in, the, in a book. So, so, so you do have a king, okay, which is Barack Obama, a.k.a. Nimrod. He supposed to make a copy of that, of that Bible, man, all right? Write, write that, write, keep the law, man, all right? He, he talking about you ain't supposed to kill faggots, man. That's what he talking about, man. Okay? He talking about you ain't supposed to stone your son and shit, man. Matter of fact, he made mockery of the Bible, man. Come on, man. You people, man. Yeah, I'm going to print that out, man. I got a special board for that motherfucker. You know? Like the, uh, AKA Barack Obama Nimrod board, man. New World Order, man. Isaiah 30, brother. Look, there you go. These little monsters. You know, ain't got nothing to do, man. And it shall be when he sitteth up on the throne of his kingdom that he shall write him a copy of this law yep. in a book. Yeah, so our Barack uh, Obama ain't pushing the law of the most high, man. Because he's a damn heathen, man. Out of that which is before the priests, the Levites. Uh, but, uh, uh, he, uh, to add up to what the brother saying, this motherfucker he take he take orders from the, the so-called Levites and uh, Israel, mm -hmm. right? The motherfuckers that's pretending to be us. Yeah. They supposed to be Levites, right? They supposed to be calling themselves priests and and, uh, and uh, uh, rabbis and shit. They supposed to be pushing the law. Obama supposed to be pushing the law, right? But that motherfucker's wicked, man. He ain't nothing but a goddamn puppet set up by the uh, the elite. This is a puppet, man. They got a total hand up his ass, man. Yeah. And it shall be with him. And it shall be with him. And he shall read therein all the days of his life, that he may learn to fear the Lord his God and to keep all the words of this law, these statutes, to do them. Right, because the Lord, if he feared the Lord the Most High, he, he wouldn't um, push that homosexuals from getting married, man. Okay, go ahead.
Verse 20. That his heart may not be lifted up above his brethren, and that he turn not aside from the commandment to the right hand or to the left, to the end that he may prolong his days in his kingdom, he and his children in the midst of Israel. He try to prolong his days in this kingdom, you know. He gonna get he gonna fucking destroy America, man. Okay? Proverbs 29, 14. The king that faithfully judgeth the poor, his throne shall be established forever. All right, so he ain't faithfully judged the poor. He gave all the money to you know, all these fucking bankers and shit, man. Mm -hmm. He didn't give it to the poor, man. Mm -hmm. He made the rich richer, man. Mm -hmm. All right? He, he, he ain't speaking up for you Negroes and Latinos in America, man. Matter of fact, he got plans to to fucking kill you, man. Put you in concentration camps, man. He, he looking to oppress you more. He looking to take your food stamps, man. All right? I got an arc, too. Hey, 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 you got some more, man. Hey, we don't let, like, when Barack Obama's ass up. Verse 2. <laughs> when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Right. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. People are not rejoicing, man. People are losing jobs and shit, man. You know? People are uh, committing suicide because there ain't no jobs, you know? They can't feed their children, man. Okay? But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Hey, and the people are mourning, man. That's why you got Occupy Wall Street and all this shit, man. Okay? But you got um these crackers, they, they breaking up the different unions and shit so it won't be no middle class. That's what they doing, man. Because why? The, the wicked bear rule, man. Read. Uh, verse 7. The righteous consider the cause of the poor. Right. The righteous will consider the cause of the poor. So that means he ain't righteous, man. But the wicked regard of it not, not to know it. Right. He, he don't give two shits, <laughs> man. That proves so-called white man. All right, Obama, he don't give two shits about you, man. Hey, that's the scripture right there, man. He give two shits about you niggas, man. Go ahead, man. You know what, man? When when when, when motherfuckers went over there to Iraq, man, the, the name of the operation when you was over there in Iraq, the name of the campaign was OIF. What does OIF stand for? Operation Iraqi Freedom. And then it changed to OEF, Operation Enduring Freedom. So the, the reason why you got such a high suicide rate in the military because you got a motherfucker that's over there fighting for the freedom, the freedom of another country. But when they come home, man, they, they see that they don't got no fucking freedom no more. You know what I'm saying? They, when they come home, they see all their rights been taken away. They, they see they, they about to take their guns away. You know what I'm saying? So they're like, fuck this. I just fought a year over there to, uh, trying to ensure somebody else's freedom. And I don't even have no fucking freedom. They started finding, they started finding out that the, the cell phones being spied on, the Facebook accounts being spied on. How you gonna, how you gonna send them uh, start a war? Well, we know that's bullshit anyway. Uh, OIF, OEF, we know that's all bullshit. But how you gonna even say a word, put up a word for another country having freedom when you taking away the, the freedom of your own people? Yeah, that's that's, right, that's hypocritical, man. That's a, you, that's cause you you motherfuckers, man, that voted for that <coughs> punk bitch. Barack Obama, man, there ain't gonna be no mercy on your motherfucking ass, man. You, hey, pardon my, pardon my, uh, my, my cursing, man. But you simple niggas, man, they woke up early and stood out in the cold in that line, man. Your ass gonna, you gonna, your body gonna turn cold. Your, your, your spirit gonna leave your body, man. Your ass gonna be put to death, man. All right, you know, bro. Yeah. All right, this is uh, from townhall.com, and this is a, a, a columnist, her name is, but she, she is a black woman, this is a black woman. Her name is Loretta Doane. The name of this article is called, Obama Has Failed Black America. All right, today Americans are remembering a great leader of our past, while at the same time thinking about our about how poorly our current president leadership compares. 
President Obama has done a great many things. To